Question 16. Colin took a sample of 80 football players. He recorded the total distance in kilometres each player ran in the first half of their matches on Saturday. Colin drew this box plot. Now, just so you know, a box plot has a few pieces of information on it. It's got the lowest amount, so this there is the lowest anyone uh, distance anyone ran, one of the footballers ran. So if you look, you've got 4 to 4.5. So every two squares is 0 0.1, so that's 4.1. 4.2, 4.3, 4.4, 4 4.5. So that number there is 4.2. Now on the box, you've got the lower quartile, the median, and the upper quartile. And then over here, you've got the maximum, the most anyone ran. So the most anyone ran was 6.4 kilometers in the first half. So work out the interquartile range. That would be the upper quartile, so IQR, interquartile range, is the upper quartile, take away the lower quartile. So the upper quartile is 5.6, and we're going to take away the lower quartile, which is 4.5, 4.6, 4.7, 4 4.8, so it's 4.85. So 5.6 take away 4.85. Now just to be safe, it's probably best to use a column method to do this question. So 5.6, uh, 4.85, subtract, um, put a zero in. To do that, zero to take away five, you can't do. So I'm going to borrow from the six, that becomes five, and that becomes 10. 10 take away five is five. 5 take away 8, again you can't do, so that becomes 4, that becomes rather 1. So 15 take away 8 is 7. Point, point, point stays in line. 4 take away 4 is 0. So our uh, interquartile range is 0 0.75. B. There were 80 players in Colin's sample. Work out the number of players who ran a distance of more than 5.6 kilometres. Now this question seems like it might be really hard. But actually, if you look here, we know the upper quartile is 5.6. That's 5.6. So that means if 5.6 is the upper quartile, that's three quarters through the results. It's a quarter away from the maximum. So if three quarters of people ran less or 5.6 or less that means a quarter of them weren't uh, ran more than 5.6 so we just want a quarter oops that's a half quarter of 80 equals 20 and that's all it is colin also recorded the distance of each player the uh, distance each player ran in the second half of their matches he drew the blo uh, box plot below for this information so here it is again C. Compare the distribution of the distances run in the first half with the distribution of the distances run in the second half. Okay, so you want to make two comparisons at least. You want to talk about the medians and one of the measures of spread. Now the measures of spread are the range, biggest takeaway, smallest, biggest takeaway, smallest, or the interquartile range, like we've already worked out here, uh, is 0.75. And we could do the one from here. Now, one of those has got to be related to real life. Only one of them, though. So let's just uh, let's just do both. But remember that you only have to do one. So let's say that let's compare the medians. So what I'll do is I'll just write first half, second half. Okay. And let's get the medians. So in the first half, the median was 5, 5.1, 5 5.2, 5.3. And then the second half, it was for, well, in between 4.5 and 4, uh, 5, so it's 4.75. Now let's comment on the interquartile ranges. Well, the first half we already worked out to be 0 0.75. 
the second half we've got 5.2 and here it is I believe that's 4.5 that's 4.4 so that's 4.35 so uh, let's just do well 5.2 take away 4.35 um, it's 0 0.65 to get up to 5 from 4.35 so 0 0.65 added to this gives 5 add 0.2 more so it's 0 0.85 okay and then the range biggest takeaway smallest so here 6.4 this is first half 6.4 take away uh, 4.1 4.2 so 6.4 take away 4.2 which is 2.2 and second half is 6.05 take away uh, 3.6 um, if you add 0 0.4 on that takes you to 4 and then you need 2 more to get to 6 that's 2.4 and then an extra 0 0.05 so that is 2.45 okay so let's have a look at what kind of comments we can make the median is lower in the second half so you can say so generally people ran further in first half Okay, so generally people ran further in the first half because their median in the first half is 5.3 and in the second half it is 4.75. So uh, interquartile range is bigger in the second half, so that means that it's more spread out. You can see that from the range as well. Okay, so you can say that the distances people ran were more varied in the second half probably because of fitness levels or something you know uh, people who are fitter will still be able to run quite a distance and then people who aren't as so fit will run nowhere near as the as the distance in their first half but that's all you need to do remember so it's one uh, say something about the median so we said first half 5.3, second half 4.75, and then choose one of these only. You don't need to do both. So um, interquartile range and the range, and then only one of those things you have to do a real life comment on. I think it's generally easier to comment on the median because all you got to do is whichever's higher, just say well they ran further in that half, and that's all you've got to do. Okay.